On a much lighter note now, today is the big day for UTEP and its new head football coach. We're talking about Scotty Walden from Austin P. The university is set to officially introduce him as the program's 27th head coach at a press conference slated for later in the afternoon. Yes, lots of exciting news. Walden comes to UTEP from Austin P. and that is in Tennessee. And for more on what we can expect from Walden in his introductory press conference, here's our sports director, Colin Deaver, live at the Sun Bowl. Hey, Colin. Yeah, Stephanie and Trevor, UTEP fans as well as administration prioritize a young, energetic, up and coming, offensive minded head coach, and they are getting that in Scotty Walden. He's already made a pretty good first impression on UTEP fans as well. He's active on social media. He called this stadium the Sun Bowl, the best group of five stadium in the entire country, and he's been heavy on the recruiting trail as well. That includes recruiting some local talents like Pebble Hills quarterback Gael Ochoa and former Franklin star Bo Sparks, who tore it up at the FCS level, including in a game against Austin P earlier this season. Now for Walden, he comes highly recommended from around the country, just 34 years old, but he has already led two uh, uh, programs at various levels of college football to successful seasons. That includes the last couple of years at Austin P. He went 26 and 14 with the governors over the last four seasons, led them to the FCS playoffs the la uh, this past season and two straight conference championships as well at Austin P. Now his age could be seen as a hindrance for some, but for a lot of people, and for the, really the reason he got the job, they see it as a huge advantage for Scotty Walden. His youth can energize this program, get fans back interested in the program, and get recruits excited about coming to UTEP. Is there going to be some trepidation that he's a younger coach? Absolutely. But I do think that the the good side of that is that he's going to be able to bring in up-and-coming guys on his staff, guys who are maybe grad assistants other places, guys who are young coaches in this profession. He, he's somebody who's uh, really authentic, really energized, uh, uh, really wants to be involved, uh, a big-time people person. I think that, again, El Paso is going to love him, and I think he's going to really embrace El Paso when he gets there. Now, one of the most successful eras of UTEP football was the 1980s, of course. That came about with youthful coaches like Andy Reid, who's now, of course, with the Kansas City Chiefs, and Dirk Cutter, so maybe Walden will fit that mold. We are very excited to meet him. I know the rest of El Paso is as well. His press conference here at the Sun Bowl at the Larry K. Durham Center starts at 2 p.m. We will be streaming that for you live on KTSM.com, so be sure to head to our website at 2 p.m. to check that out. We'll have full coverage at 4.35, 6, and 10 p.m. from Walden's introductory press conference as well. Uh, Stephanie Trevor, back to you.